Hey everyone, welcome back to Game Center Crown. My name is Joy. This is Life is Strange, and today we are going to be taking on Episode 3, Chaos Theory. And, uh, like I mentioned at the last, uh, at the end of the last video, this is where the game starts to take sort of a turn for the more serious. And In the previous episodes of Life is Strange. Whoa! called film, Little Pieces of Time. Because Max wants everybody to see I'm how so hip she is. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please get me out of here! Max! Nobody cares about me. Nobody. <laughs> What are you doing here, Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Coffee, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. What the hell is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. Right, so it started, you know, kind of throwing us into these more si more serious situations with what happened with Kate at the end of the last episode. Now we're really going to start digging into the Rachel mystery in these last three episodes. There's our girl, sleeping on the damn job. Chaos theory. And um, chaos theory refers to a theory where um, it was m probably most popularized with the concept of the butterfly effect. Here we can see we've taken over mom duty for Kate's rabbit. I shouldn't laugh, sorry. She just went through something super traumatic. But uh, chaos theory refers to the idea of... Um, I have something to show you. Meet me in front of campus. That's from Chloe. Get that ass in gear now. I knew Chloe would be all over this. So I better get moving. Okay, so. As I was saying, are you going to cut me off one more time, Max? Maybe. All right, well, chaos theory is if you change one small thing, it affects the rest of the system. In this case, the system is the timeline. So uh, changing one small thing can affect a timeline, which we've been already doing. You know, it was actually extremely possible to have Kate kill herself in the last episode, but we prevented that. So that would be an example of creating a different timeline where Kate is alive versus Kate is dead. So things like that. And there's a reason why this episode is called Chaos Theory. We're going to start making some big changes to timelines in this episode. Glad the media doesn't waste a second exploiting Kate. Now she has another video of herself all over the web. And even I'm in this one. Arcadia Bay Online oh, News. At least the news didn't mention my name. Yet. 
Arcadia Bay Online News, Blackwell student attempts suicide on campus. Arcadia Bay, Oregon, a student at the prestigious Blackwell Academy almost jumped from the roof of a campus dormitory today, with most of the student and faculty as startled witnesses. Authorities confirmed that the student, Kate Marsh, 18, had been troubled, but information is scarce at this time. Dozens of cell phones recorded the event, which ended with an unidentified student taking, talking Marsh down to safety. Click here for video footage and further details. Normally, they probably wouldn't do that. Actually, she's 18. Usually, they will shield you from that if you're a minor, but I don't know what the protocol is if you're 18. Hmm. Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. Missing I shouldn't sound so disappointed. <laughs> missing persons list, Arcadia Bay, Oregon. If you have any information regarding the whereabouts of the following missing, per missing persons, please immediately contact the Arcadia Bay Police Department. Rachel Amber was missing since April 22nd, 2013, about six months ago. Elton Kesey, uh, Melissa Lee Grayson, Winston Smith, Sunshine Ray, real name unknown. And they were missing since 1973, 1984. Yeah, the last time somebody went missing in Arcadia Bay apparently was 2001 and then Rachel in 2013. There we can see her with the with the blue earring. I sure hope these people treat her better when she comes back to school. If she does. Kate Beverly Marsh, friends, 124. Subscribers, 223. Her birth date is September 12th, 1995. Taylor Christensen writes, Gets well soon. You are in our hearts. Victoria Maribeth Chase, sending love to you, Kate. Evan Harris says, thinking of you. Mark Ruington says, we love you, Katie. Come back to church soon. Alyssa Anderson, we're all behind you, Kate. Courtney Wagner says, hope you feel better. Father Lamont says, Psalm 34, 18, the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. And Zach Riggins says, Blackwell Bigfoot's promised to win the next game for you. Man, I really turned a molehill into a mountain. I feel bad for Mr. Jefferson about this. So we blame Jefferson at the end of the last episode. So a web page has been made called support mr jefferson this is a page created by students to support mr mark jefferson after he was unfairly removed from representing blackwell academy at the national everyday heroes event in san francisco for reasons unknown we are not aligned with the school faculty only students expressing our outrage that the most popular and distinguished professor at blackwell should be treated so poorly mr jefferson is the face of photography on campus plus an inspiration to as many students please like if you support mr jefferson and would like the school to reverse its poor decision leave your comments below any extreme language will be deleted anonymous says fuck this nazi bullshit brooke says bring back mr jefferson warren graham says jefferson power Hayden Jones says, anybody notice weird shit going on around Blackwell this week? Alyssa says, I boycott class until Mr. Jefferson comes back. Victoria Chase says, the major reason I came to Blackwell was Mark Jefferson. Which, she was at Blackwell and before the storm. So, there's a potential that there's a continuity issue here or Victoria is just talking out of her ass to save face. Um, Daniel DaCosta says, please allow Mr. Jefferson to return. He is the best teacher I've ever had. Juliet Watson says, let's create a petition. Private message me for more details. PM me for more details. Either I delete my page or I block everybody. Nowhere to hide these days. Max only has 81 friends and 12 subscribers. Uh, time is bunk, Douglas Adams. Evan Harris, you actually made me proud to be a black at Blackwell. Bravo, Max, bravo. Evan says that. Daniel says, Arizona Chica Dura. Uh, you are a strong woman, I believe is what that says. My Spanish is a little rusty. Um, Warren Graham says, Max Power. Hayden Jones says, epic. Brooke Scott says, watching you walk down from that roof with Kate was the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. Thank you. Juliet Watson says, way to make the headlines, Max. Dana Ward says, you're a hero, Max. Thank you. Everybody will be talking about Kate now. Blackwell might as well shut down for the next month. Is there anything new it's amazing here? how happy Kate looks here compared to today. She was basically pushed up to that roof, and I will use my power to find out why. This has to end. Faux show, faux show. All right, let's see. Let's look at the bunny. Hey, bunny. Kate will be back soon, and until then, I'll be catering to your every whim. Are you a hungry bunny? Here, nosh on this. Here, have a carrot for your troubles. May I offer you a carrot in this trying time? Uh, we can look at the plant. First I save Chloe, 
Then Kate, and now you, Lisa. <laughs> Not a bad record for a week. Yes, so because we didn't um, water the plant twice, it didn't die from overwatering, which is pretty chill. There's been so much going on, I almost forgot about the eclipse. All this atmospheric action can't be a coincidence. It is not. And all roads are leading to my tornado vision. That they are. Here, let's check our phone. We have a new one from Warren. Do, do, do. Yo, yo, Max, just had to remind you again how fucking awesome you were today with Kate on the roof. I'll make you a superhero suit on the lab's 3D printer. Cool. And I'd love to reward you with dinner and escape to a planet of apes. No pressure. Truly. Thanks, Warren. I need to rest my cape tonight, especially since I got Mr. Jefferson kicked out of his own contest. Call I'll call you later, okay? And then Mom sent us something. Um, let's see. Max, please call us as soon as you can. We are so proud of you for saving this girl, and we want to know how you are, so please, please get in touch. We love you. Sorry, Mom. I'll call you back in a few minutes. Swear. Thanks for letting me gush over our Blackwell hero. I miss your voice. We're very proud... So milk this moment. Let us know if you want us to come up for a quick getaway, okay? We love you, Maxine. Do, do, do. And two from Chloe. I have something to show you. Meet me in front of campus. Get that ass in gear now. Hold on. Do, do, do. Here we go. Sorry about Kate. Hope you're okay. This eclipse freaks me out. Let's find out what's going on together. Yo, Supermax, how's the Blackwell hero doing? The hero is still shaking with nerves. You're a boss, but no emoji. I'm, I also got my favorite teacher suspended. Yay me. Dude, you so own that school. Listen, something weird and scary is going on at Blackwell. It's time for us to put the pieces together. Cool? And that's where we are right now. So it's about 1130 at night. 1134 PM to be exact. Um, and we have new journal entries. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Just when I was feeling good about Chloe and me, I walk into Jefferson's class and see Nathan and Victoria actually sitting on my desk. Unreal. Asshole bookends. Kate Marsh almost killed herself. My hands are still shaking, but I have to write this down while I can. Right at the start of Jefferson's class, Kate went to the roof of the girls' dorm to jump. Every student and teacher was watching her like it was a Blackwell rooftop concert. I saw her actually jump, but I was about, but I was just about, just about able to use my rewind to get her back on the roof. I tried harder than I ever did, and somehow I stopped time completely. I made it to the roof, but again, my head felt like it was going to blow up. I knew that I couldn't just keep rewinding to save Kate. I had to try and talk her down on my own. She was already in so much pain over the video and all the bullying, so she wasn't going to buy everything I tried to tell her. You see movies with people trying to talk somebody out of suicide, but it's very different when I'm the one doing the talking. I covered everything I could, and Kate almost jumped anyway. Cliche or not, I told her how much her friends and family love her, even if they don't all show it now. Lo and behold, Kate stepped back from the ledge, alive. I almost cried in her arms. I know this isn't about me, though I have to admit, it was an amazing feeling to walk arm in arm with Kate from the roof to outside the dorm. Like I said, the whole school and police, the whole school and police were watching us almost completely silent. Then I heard what sounded like Logan yelling out, give it up for Max, and everybody started to clap and cheer. Talk about surreal. The people who ignored me or treated me like crap suddenly crushing on me. That might be the strangest thing that's happened to me this insane week. And that made me wonder if Victoria was watching and how she felt about all this. I almost wanted to find her just to get in her smug face for enabling Kate's suicide attempt. Such cruel bullshit. Though, to be fair, Victoria wasn't the only one that was responsible. Nathan Prescott seemed to have disappeared which was probably a good thing. And after all that, I still had to talk to the police and give a statement. Felt so weird to do since I've seen it in pretty much every police procedural show. I had to lie my ass off when he questioned me about the other students because I just don't think the police are ever going to find out what happened. Yes, this looks like a job for Supermax, right? Though, of course, I do love it when Chloe calls me that, even if I don't feel that every day feel that everyday heroic for helping Kate down. Maybe it's wrong for me to think I have to feel anything but grateful that Kate didn't jump. That was really, what was really odd was when all the students and faculty staff surrounded me and Kate then started patting our backs and shoulders like we were heroes. I wasn't sure how to respond considering Kate almost threw herself off the roof because everybody has school. But like I said, I can't blame everybody and I still don't really know where to point all my fingers. 
The very best thing was that even though Kate was still in tears and confused, I definitely saw her smile when she realized how happy everybody was that she was alive. I smiled too. The police and paramedics swooped in and then Kate was covered in a blanket and gently escorted to the ambulance. They didn't thank me or look at me like I was a hero. I guess they're used to saving people without applause. But if I'm super honest, it felt pretty cool. Like I got a hug from the whole school. So maybe Blackwell Academy isn't totally bad. It's not enough that Kate is alive, and though I'm not enough of an egomaniac to take the credit, I still had to get the Blackwell third degree from Principal Wells. It was bizarre to be in his tacky office with Nathan Prescott, David Madsen, and Mr. Jefferson calmly talking about why Kate would attempt suicide. I was quiet but giddy inside, just replaying in my head the moment when Kate stepped toward me with a glimmer of hope in her eyes. Still, I ended up telling the principal that I saw Kate crying after she talked with Mr. Jefferson. I wasn't trying to blame him, I just thought it was important information. Maybe I fucked up, narking on the one person I respect the most at Blackwell. I could see Mr. Jefferson was disappointed in me too. The principal was more upset because he pulled Jefferson out from representing the school at the Everyday Heroes contest. I didn't expect that at all. I'm so confused right now. How can I keep going to M Mr. Jefferson's class after I ruined his reputation? And do I still have to give him a photo for the contest? After being grilled in the principal's den, I hung out with Warren on the lawn so I could feel grass under my feet and watch the fluffy clouds. He's such a sweetheart. He kept telling me how proud he was that I stopped Kate from jumping. I don't believe that I did, but I have to say it's better to be treated like a hero at school than it like a twee loser. Still, I told Warren that something ominous is happening at, Ra at Blackwell Academy. Rachel Amber, Chloe, and now Kate have all been victims. Not to mention me if I keep playing amateur detective. Wish I could have let Lo Warren know about my power, but it's not the right time, as if anything is the right time anymore. And to make the day end on the most surreal note possible, the sky went dark and we watched a solar eclipse that was not announced on the news or any astronomy site. What is happening to Arcadia Bay? Good fucking question. Um, what else? Is there anything else that we can look at in here? Um, mirror. <sighs> Kate's okay, Max. Take a breath. Get your shit together. You have time. Time is on your side. Anything over here? Pretty hard to focus on my class schedule this week. I wonder why. And let's turn off our lamp. Conserve power and all that. Can we turn off this one? Jeebus, I am so freaking tired. <laughs> I sound like a moron. But crime does not delay. I need to stay on top of this investigation. Fine, fine, fine. Here we go. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be light. Here we can see Kate's uh, room has been barricaded over by police tape. Do they really need that crap on the door? Kate's still alive. And here we can read her slate. So much hypocrite. We miss you. Get well soon. Feel better soon. Uh, Blackwell is praying for you. I hope you get better soon. I'm sorry, Kate. Get well soon. And here's Max, her slate. I hope you burn bright again soon, Kate. Tiger, tiger, burning bright in the forest of the night. What immortal hand or eye could frame thy fearful symmetry? Blake for Kate Marsh. Oh, so Kat, or, uh, Max wrote that. We'll wait for Kate, Brooke. So we're going to see a lot of really supportive messages for Kate, which is nice. Where the hell are you, Rachel Amber? Good fucking question. That is the million dollar question, Maxine. The end of the world might be coming before your party. Funny you should say that. <laughs> uh, let's see. I bet you'll party like it's 1999. Assholes. Yes, I am going to find you, Rachel. For Chloe and Kate. Got a girl. What about this one? I feel like you're guiding us along. But where? Hmm. Feel like Rachel's guiding you, do you? Funny you should say that. Here, we can come in here. And Rachel is a whore has been erased. 
Now, this can be one of two things. Either that's Samuel doing his job, or it's a continuity error. I would probably side with the continuity error because the other graffiti has been left behind. So. Kate probably won't want to look at these posters when she comes back. Hey, Max. I saw you go up on the roof and save Kate. I can't believe she tried to jump. Mm. We're trying to keep everybody on our side so that we can get as much information as possible. So we're going to comfort Taylor, even though that she was a pretty big part of the issue. I can. I'm just so glad she didn't. Are you okay? I'm just like shocked. I've never seen anybody try to kill themselves before. Me neither. I didn't think you'd be so upset considering how much shit you and Victoria gave Kate. I'm my own person, not Victoria's bitch. Hello, like she's freaking too. She already broke curfew tonight. <gasps> shit, I'm not supposed to tell anybody. Where did she go? Where did she go? I know I can trust you since you were so nice asking about my mom in the hospital, See? but Victoria will, like, make my life hell if I blab, okay? No doubt. I do hope your mother gets better. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks. You're, like, weird, but pretty cool, Max. Especially after watching you go up on that roof. Victoria's wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. Interesting. She has anxiety. I didn't know Taylor had an anxiety disorder. But we're gonna back up because we learned something. And it was that Victoria left. Hey, Max. Victoria sneaking out. I know. Victoria must be upset since I saw her sneaking out of the dorm past curfew. Oh man, like, you saw her? She was so, like, nervous when she left the dorm. She wouldn't even tell me where she was going. Probably to hell. <laughs> Well, I have to go crash. <laughs> it's been a rough day, as you know. Thanks, Max. And it was, like, pretty awesome when you went up to the roof to save Kate. Victoria was wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. Interesting. So Vicky is not here. I hope Victoria feels particularly shitty about posting that link. Me too, Max. Got anything else in here? Out of order. These are opened up now. I don't see anything that we can look at. Oh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. Ding, ding, ding. But first, waiting for you, Kate. Dana's really hurting over this. We'll stop in with our favorite cheerleader, hey, uh, Dana. Hey, Max. Come here. Hey, girl. Hold on, I gotta look through your shit first. This is both sad and pathetic. Alright, same thing as usual. Yes, the Vortex Club does indeed suck. Don't mind me, just using your computer, Dana. Aw, Trevor is a sweetie. Good for Dana. From Trevor to Dana. Hey Dana, I've been thinking about you all day and know how hard it was for you to see Kate almost jump from the roof today. Glad that Max swooped in like a superhero. I don't have anything deep or smart to say. I just want you to know that you're a good friend to Kate and I wish she had more friends like you. You have been so good for me when everything else is so fucked up and I'm here for you always. I miss you, Trev. From Dana to Trevor, thank you so much for thinking of me. I keep seeing Kate on the roof and feel like I should have done more to help her. Max did more than anybody to save Kate and I don't even think they're BFF. So happy you're thinking about me. I can't wait to see you tomorrow, and you are just as good for me as you think I am for you. Dreaming of you tonight. XOXO, Dana. If Dana talks to Juliet about this, she's gonna wish she didn't. From Juliet to Dana. Dana, I hope you're doing okay after today. I don't want to bother you, but I'm writing an article about Kate for the paper, and I wanted to know if you could answer just a few short questions. It seems like there are too few answers. Let's talk when it's convenient for you, okay? Hope you're well. Sincerely, Juliet. Uh, it's from Dana to Juliet. Hi, Juliet. I know you want to find out more about Kate, but I'm still a little shaken up after today. I don't think you'll get too many answers answer so soon after what happened today. And maybe it's better to keep a low profile for the moment. Kate deserves some privacy for a change. XO, XO Dana. She's right. That's pretty tasteless, Juliet. Okay. What else we got here? 
Man, she looks so sad. Okay, I don't see any. Oh. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. Dana looks guilty and relieved about Kate. She really does care. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. Ah, uh, hmm. We could blame Victoria. She was depressed. We're all responsible. Let me blame Victoria. Come on, don't blame yourself. There are other people involved. Like Victoria Chase. She definitely deserves a face punch for pimping that video. I didn't do enough to step up. Now it's time for serious payback. In other words, revenge. So what exactly are you saying, Max? I know Jefferson got reamed by the principal. Do you think they're involved? Um... Good question. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure yet, but I'm on it. Weird shit is going down at Blackwell, and I'm going to find out why. I'm getting scared now, but people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. I'm actually going to rewind. I feel like we could have gotten more information. Hey, Dana. Better than Kate. We're all responsible. I think we're all responsible for what happened. True. But you're the only one who went up to that roof with Kate. Uh, why was she on the roof? Where was everybody? I was lucky. I was lucky. That's all. No, girl. That was not luck. You made a choice to save her. Like a superhero. Then maybe it's time to catch the bad guys. So what exactly are you saying, Max? I know Jefferson got reamed by the principal. Do you think they're involved? It's complicated. It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. I am wiped out, Max. We'll talk later. Hi, right, girl. So... We can mess with Victoria's shit. Juliet. Waiting for you, Kate. What does that say? No money. No money, but... No money, no honey, but all... I don't know what that says. I don't know what that last line says, sorry. Stella, Kate, just want you to know you're in our thoughts. Okay. Praying for a fast recovery, Kate. And this is Taylor's room. And the only reason I know that is uh, because 224 is Rachel's old room. So, keep my priorities straight. Oh, crap, says that poster. Um, let's see. Victoria. Yep, is back here. Enter. Since I've crossed the line from Snoop to Detective, I might as well search for clues about what really happened to Kate at the Vortex Club party. Well, first, I want to take a photo of this little figurine, because that's an optional photo that we can take. We might have to turn on the lights. Hold on. Can we turn on the lights? She has LEDs over here. Sticker. Huh, ah, okay. Maybe we have to look around a little bit first. Whoa, I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the Chase space. Color me impressed. Victoria is about as street as me. But she really appreciates style. Okay. Let's see. These socks cost more than my wardrobe. What are they, wool? <laughs> like, bitch, chill out. I'll title this one, 
Portrait de la Assholes. All right, so here's our first glimpse into a Vortex Club party. You can see uh, Nathan in the middle. Looks like Taylor right behind him, and then obviously Victoria to the left. Whoa, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. Okay, so we have that picture now. First Rachel and now Kate? This is the end of the Vortex Club. Can I really not take a photo of that yet? Hold on. Open. Here they are getting loaded with Satan. <laughs> All right, search. That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. Arcadia Bay Cleaners. Welcome, Victoria Chase. Do, do, do. Cashmere sweater, one short and delicate, $30. Payment detail, total alterations, $30. Amount due, $30. That's really not a lot to clean a cashmere sweater that was doused in paint. Oh, wait, I, there was more to look at. My bad. Sorry. That's a lot of bank. Victoria's secret. She's a geek. <laughs> she likes the animu. <laughs> Glow in the dark blueberry. And that's the figure over here. And we should be able to take a photo of it. I don't know why it's not giving me the prompt, though. Well, well. Victoria and Taylor actually show remorse. From Victoria to Taylor. Hey, sweet tea. Wow, that's fucking gay, Vic. Anyway, what's up? I'm just avoiding some lame-ass science homework. How can anybody do fucking homework after somebody almost jumps off a roof? I can't believe we all saw it live. It was like watching a reality show. And I've never seen the campus so quiet, like everybody's hiding or afraid. Yes, I feel like total shit for everything I said about Kate in that stupid video. Let's get some peeps to meet up later. This girl needs a serious curfew cocktail. We'll drink to Kate. V. From Taylor to Victoria. What a trip that was today. Seeing Max and Kay like that, I need a drink too. Let me know the time. Sweet tea. XO, sweet tea. We seriously should be able to take a photo of that. I don't know why it's not letting us. Can we hit the light switch or something? Hold on. Yeah, I'm just making sure there's not any... Is there anything else? Well, well. Victoria and Taylor actually show remorse. Sorry, guys. I just want to make one more. Because we... That is an optional photo over there. And I'll prove it to you. Right there in the top left, you can see it's the action figure. So I don't know why it's not giving me the prompt. Oh, search. Hello. A unique point of view is right. Thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. Yeah, Courtney does her homework for her. Excellent. Well-researched essay with a unique point of view. A plus. Or just an A. Victoria Chase, Mr. Jefferson, Art Class, Blackwell Academy, 1st of October. The essay is Noir and Day. Expressionist Photography by Victoria Chase. It seems to me like we... <sighs> Nothing to see here. I guess I shouldn't be so bummed. Not that Victoria couldn't hide her shit. Man, I'm getting paranoid. Those boots are made for walking runways. Yeah. Why is this not letting me take a photo? Do I need to be from a certain angle? Oh! It's glow in the dark. That's right. Hold on. We gotta stand there and charge it. There we go. Sorry, guys. Nailed it. I also want to show you guys one thing while I'm thinking about it, since we just took a photo. Um, if we back up to Out of Time, we took a picture of that doe that looks sort of like a ghost in the junkyard. Up there in the top right, that's the photo that we took of the dough. You'll notice the dough is not in the photo. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, just want to point that out. Okay. Max's room. I don't think we need anything from there. I think we're good to go. 
see. I keep hearing noise from that room. That's why I'm like, mm, what's going on? I can leave the girls' dormitories. See some fireflies, lightning bugs, whatever you so want to call Chloe them. Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. But first... Oh, the most magical insects. Burn bright. Okay, so we have to bring that squirrel back. And photo, photo, photo. Put the lens and say nut. There we go. Gotcha. Yes, we really had to rewind to grab that optional photo. <laughs> but it was worth it. It's for art, goddammit. Let's see. Door. Oh, it's unlocked. I hope Samuel isn't around. There we go. Drawers. Nuts and bolts. <laughs> like my grandpa's garage. Magazine. Who knew Samuel was so into runway fashion? Hmm. Live your dreams, Hollywood girls. I know Samuel doesn't wear silky scarves. So, who does? So, we're seeing that there's pictures of Rachel, that he has a magazine, that he has something that belongs to a girl. Uh, we just got a text message from Chloe. Max? We also have a new uh, journal entry, I think. Yes, Wednesday. Here we go. Um, okay, what is... Hello, October 9th. Oh, it's just after midnight, I guess, in the game. So that's why that's happening. Dear diary, dear diary, I have the power to rewind time and I ended up on a rooftop trying to stop my friend from jumping off while trying to prevent the possible destruction of my hometown. I fell asleep at my desk and woke up reaching out to rewind or grab Kate. I remember when my journal entries were about which anime character I wanted to be or my dreams of being a respected globe-hopping photographer or what me and Chloe would be doing when we were finally adults. At least we know how that turned out so far. Chloe is determined to get to the bottom of what's going on, so I've been playing What Would Chloe Do?, which means blowing off my Blackwell homework to research everything I can to I can find on Kate Marsh, Rachel Amber, and the esteemed Prescotts. It would be too easy-peasy if they were all connected, but at this point, I think the whole town of Arcadia Bay is connected to this crazy shit. I can already see the story on National Geo on the National Geographic channel. Mystic, scientific, or apocalyptic? The Arcadia Bay tornado. Shudder. Speaking of fear, I still think about Kate and the sadness in her eyes on that roof. I'm so grateful she's alive. I love seeing the students at Blackwell show their support for her with gifts and flowers. Finally. So that's cool that I got Mr. Jefferson in trouble and he won't be representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes contest. I don't blame him for what happened to Kate. Yes, he should have listened to her, but it's not fair he can't attend the event. Now the winner has to hang out with Principal Wells. I hope Victoria wins, but one of my heroes probably hates me. Yay, Max. Leave it to Chloe to make me sneak out past curfew and demand I meet her in front of the main building in the dead of night. I knew Chloe would be all over investigating the campus after what happened to Kate here. This just makes Chloe more desperate to find out what happened to Rachel, if anything. It's funny that even though I think I can just rewind myself out of trouble, I'm in more trouble now than ever before in my life. If this was a Twilight Zone story, I'd be getting set up for some serious irony like i'm going to rewind myself out of existence or something but honestly i i honestly say wait sorry can i honestly say i'll have this ability for the rest of my life are the tornado the snow and that eclipse just hallucinations or are they genuine prophecy more importantly is this a curse or blessing chloe is alive and by my side and that has to be a miracle which means there must be a way to stop my vision from coming true right so yes, I broke curfew, curfew to hook up with Chloe. She said she had something to show me. Looks like it's time for some serious detective work. Enter the Blackwell Ninjas. As I stealthily made my way out of the hall, I passed by Kate's door and saw all the nice messages from other students. Too bad most of Blackwell didn't care when they passed around the video and bullied her to that roof. Everybody always cares when it's too late. At least Kate will see that people are on her side, finally. I hope I can visit her when all this blows over. Maybe that's not a good choice of words because of the tornado. Okay, toolbox. Come on, let me look. Nothing but tools. Box. Nothing here. Okay. So 
So Samuel has some weird stuff in his shed, to say the least. And we have a chance to sit on the bench over here, but I just want to make a little quick sweep, just letting you see that the window- Everywhere I go, I can see how I'm altering history, big and small. Mm-hmm. Rachel owes me money. Okay, let's sit on the bench real quick and see what Max has to say. I feel so giddy, even after Kate almost jumped. Maybe it's the leftover adrenaline. But I feel kind of invincible now. All right, you're done. Sorry, I was taking a sip of water. Otherwise, I would have cut it sooner. Um, broken lamp. Maybe Samuel should fix that lamp. Maybe he will. Anything new about the totem, or is it still Tabanga? The Tabanga does look pretty scary at night. Please don't destroy me. Eh, it won't. It's fine. All right, let's get out of here. Oh. Principal Wells. Principal Wells? Oh, are you serious? I'm, I'm toast if he sees me. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. He's probably talking about Nathan. Oh no, I accidentally uh hit the dam all the way back to the other decision button. Hold on. Eh, we already heard what she had to say. We're good. Um, He's lucky nobody else saw him like that. You except the me. bottle of Jack down oh there on the step. God. Max the ninja strikes again. Go to the main campus before you get caught, you nerd. Clo bear, where you at? All right. I think we can look around a little bit more. Booyah! Oh my god. Get it? Booyah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. More like a scary punk asshole. That did scare me. Hey, I Chloe, forgot she did that. I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? Sorry, but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. Kate saved herself. I couldn't even use my power. My head felt like it was being crushed. And then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. Don't be so modest, rock star. Kate is alive because of you. You obviously said the right thing, and your badass power is gonna save us all. We just need to connect the plays. And find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? I hope so. Don't joke, chaos theory. Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh, right. Except for your ability to... Oh, yeah. Manipulate time and space? No biggie. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Mr. Jefferson in trouble. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? We're gonna make it about Rachel. We need to find out more about who Rachel was involved with around here. She was able to blend in with everybody. Even with people I hated. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. Aww. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Kicking it alive, dead? 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 I'm sorry. I hate even saying that, Chloe. Not as much as I hate thinking it. 
Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, step prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Famous Insert lines. Groan here. Insert groan here. <laughs> All right, so we're about to break into Blackwell. Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes oh contest? The contest will go on. I just won't be representing Blackwell at the event this year, thanks to Max, who claims I enabled Kate Marsh's trouble by merely listening to her. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria. Ooh. I won't be going to San Francisco, remember? Shut down. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... You done fucked up. Are you fucking kidding me? Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. Ooh, grabbed her hand, Max, you sly dog. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. Joking. I'm serious. <laughs> We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? They can't charge us for just entering. Trespassing. I'm serious. We could go to jail. <laughs> could totally do it. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell Security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. But my powers didn't save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Come on. One more door and our work here is done. Cool. Can we look at anything? Just making a sweep. Yes, we can. So you can almost shoot somebody on Monday and party on Friday? <laughs> Prescott power. Rachel, you got a photo around here anywhere, babe? I just want to see if she has anything unique to say. Yep, there we go. Where the hell are you, Rachel Amber? Bitch, we's trying to find out. A long time ago, in a girl's room right here. Oh, making fun of the Star Wars opening. Maybe Kate started a revolution. Flush the Vortex Club. Vortex turd. Vortex Club sucks. Pray for Kate. Kate Marsh power. Vortex Club killed Kate. Interesting. And there's Rachel again. First Rachel and now Kate? This is the end of the Vortex Club. Mm, anything else over here? Your party days are over. 
Yes, I am going to find you, Rachel. For Chloe and Kate. All right, let's get into the principal's office here. There's no way David would get in Mrs. Grant's face. She'd shut his ass down fast. Dear Miss Michelle Grant, as head of security at Blackwell Academy, it's my job and duty to make sure all the bases have been covered when it comes to protecting the student body. I know I'm nobody's favorite among the faculty and students, but I know I'm making sure their safety is my prime directive. Since taking over as head of security, my statistics speak for themselves, as does the 15.4% drop in campus crime. I respect your position as a science teacher, but you have unfairly demonized my plans for a surveillance system with a cowardly petition. I hope that you will redact this peti petition and reconsider the human cost of not retrofitting Blackwell Academy with the latest in safe and private security. Sincerely, Madsen. David. What else we got? Only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. Okay, so this is a reference to Max Caulfield having the same last name as Holden Caulfield from Catcher in the Rye. He would wear a hunter's cap like that, and he would use the word phony a lot. So there's that reference for you guys. Lost and found. Rachel, are you in there? <laughs> um, oh, how come you didn't... Y'all saw that it gave me a prompt to look, right? Oh, okay. Apparently it's at a very specific distance. Squirrels like nuts. Does that mean Samuel is... Nah. It'd be nice. How to Feed Your Inner Spirit Animal by Dr. B. Bracamonte. I really hate how they're throwing around the term spirit animal. This is before that, like, you know, cultural yes, appropriation Max. talks happen. Out in the hallway. Forget about the principal's office. Shut up, Chloe. I'm talking to the kids. Um, uh, I'm sorry, Chloe. I didn't mean it. I love you. Well, let's see. Yeah, I think we've seen all we can see over here. Okay. That's it. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. <laughs> just in case you fuck it up. Okay. Dead end can find some files around here. That's why I'm going to pull these open. Nothing here. Because the key rack's over there. I'm just hoping that we can get some files. Boring. Or not. Okay. Please? Crap. Oh my god, Max. You have access to all the students' files and you're being a little shit. Here are the keys. None for the principal's office. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Warren? How would one blow hey, open Warren, a lock? Hey, you busy? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No. I'm just asking for fun. Don't keep Thanks, science this guy. curiosity door locked. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. I'm sorry. I'm just not sure about a movie night right now. <laughs> Don't hate me. <laughs> Chloe. Thanks for the help. This sucks ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. All right. We have two. Here's how you'll do it. 
One, two, three, four. Any questions? Sodium chlor, what the fuck? It's just a powder used to create chlorine dioxide. Shit, everybody knows that. So are you really going to try this? Keyword is try. I bow to your wisdom. Okay. Pay attention, 007. You'll need to find four objects. Sugar, a soda can, duct tape, sodium chlorate. I also have a new journal entry. I'm going to try and stay on top of these just because they are so long sometimes. Uh, as I... <laughs> that little doodle of Chloe, it's hidden behind our objective note, but she's holding a bunch of keys. Um, as I stealthily made my way out of the hall, I passed by Kate's door. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. Damn, that was too close. I was doing so well until I got outside, and of course, it was Principal Wells, of all people, blocking the way. The one person I least wanted to see. I wasn't ninja enough for him, so yeah, he busted me. But I finally got to see that the gossip was true for a change. Principal Wells was shitfaced. He didn't even try to hide it. In fact, he was a lot cooler drunk than sober. Is it? Considering I got caught? Huh. So yeah, he busted me. That doesn't make sense. Anyway. Oh, sure he was in my way, but okay. Rewind. Anyway. Uh, in fact, he was a lot cooler drunk than sober. I can see why he's so confused dealing with Kate's family and the Prescotts and David Madsen. He still acts suspicious and gives me way too much tood, as he would say. Nobody says that seriously, but I can see that he's under a lot of pressure. So much that he's so wasted he can't even use his keys at midnight. So we could have talked to him, I think. Um, sure, he was in my way, but he was no match for my rewind power. After all, I had to go and meet Chloe. Bad Max. Even though I thought I was in full ninja mode, Chloe still scared the shit out of me, which pissed me off concerning what I've been going through. Sometimes she's so damn insensitive to other people's feelings. She can be a little blunt. She's admitted that before the storm. Uh, she wants all my attention for her in finding Rachel, and she gets all butthurt if I don't have time for her. So obviously, I have time in hand, but I can't stay mad at her for long, and she was so damn excited about having the keys to the main building. And honestly, I was pretty amped up, too. Even more so when we went to the front of the building and spied on Victoria talking smack about me, shocked, and worse, actually trying to blackmail Mr. Jefferson to pick her photo for the Everyday Heroes contest. She is freaking unreal. I give Mr. Jefferson major respect for telling her to get lost, even though she deserved to be expelled for pulling that crap. This is her priority after what happened with Kate. I just don't understand Victoria, no matter how I try. She's already rich, pretty, and a good photographer. Why try so hard to hurt so many and hurt so many to manipulate everything already in your favor? I just hope that's not what I'm doing with my rewind power. Yes, there's something incredibly awesome about breaking into your own school at the witching hour. Although Chloe was technically right, how can we break in with a key? Never mind that it was a stolen key from the school's head of security. Anyway, the Blackwell ninjas strike again. Okay, let's get going. Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. What do you know? Trash. Bitch, I'm looking for a soda can. Don't be mean. Probably get one from the vending machine. Use. Release the Kraken. Instead of the Kraken. Get it? It's all mine anyway. Okay, we got a soda can. Only three more items to go. I'm just making a sweep, making sure we're not missing anything. Oh, Rachel. I know you and Kate are connected by all this. That's pretty true. No trophy will help Blackwell's reputation now. Okay, let's get going. Mm. Again, just keeping an eye out for hover text. What is this? What is this? Science class, okay. Surprised that wasn't locked, honestly. Gross. I hate that formal and smell. Eh, get used to it. Um, let's see. Exam file. An A minus? All right, all right. So Dr. Max did help Warren this morning. Yep, practical chemistry. You can change his grade to a plus. Ain't nobody got time for that. Here, I'm gonna take the sugar. Ooh, sugar. Basically, if you want to romance Warren in this scenario. You're halfway home, Max. Which, why the fuck would you ever? I don't, whatever. Uh, you can change his grade to an A plus and it'll kind of help. Ass biology. Ugh, gross. It's anatomy, fool. And he did just text us. A periodic table. <sighs> Wish I knew what periodic means. Can I jump down from here? Yes, I can. 
you still there? Did you blow up? Max? Still here, didn't blow up, not yet. I need to concentrate now, TTYL. I'm not interested. <laughs> Let's see. Da Vinci was a boss. Okay. Here's another optional photo. Everybody's asleep. I hate to wake them up, but I want a picture. Turn on. Good evening, fish fish. And photo. Thanks, go. fish. Nice work. And it's nap time again. Please resume your slumber. There you go. Uh, let's see. Graffiti. I never said they were great. Troll. Max takes shitty selfies. And then I think that said I had sex with your mom. Hold on. I never said they yes. were great. Troll. Max takes shitty selfies. Science book. Come on, let me look. There we go. So sodium chloride is a weed killer. You'd think Warren would have told me that factoid. Uh, the properties of sodium chlorate is an inorganic compound that is commonly used as a weed killer. Toxicity in humans formulations. So that's important to us because we're not going to get like the pure form of it, I don't think, but we can get weed killer pretty easily. So let's see. That's a pretty intense fume hood. Weed killers up there, chemistry stuff. You're an artist, damn it, not a scientist. But this is so not sodium chlorate. Here's the sodium chlorate box. Uh, here's another photo that we can take. Ew, gross. At least switch to E6. Oh my god, he's not even real. Okay. Take. You Munch. know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. All right, all right. There we go. Okay. Only think... one more ingredient left. Yeah, I think the uh, duct tape's gonna be in the art classroom. There we go. We can also look at Jefferson's desk now. This is like a scene in a horror film. Girl, you have no idea. Um... Contest pictures. Look. Here, let me look at the letter. I say one stupid thing and Mr. Jefferson gets screwed. Nice going, Max. Dear Mark, I just wanted to drop you an informal note to let you know that Blackwell is conducting an investigation into the events of this week. You'll be receiving an official notice in the mail, but you deserve to be told about this now. I respect your work and status here at Blackwell and hope you won't think too harsh of me in this very difficult time. I hope this all works out in your favor. Raymond Wells. Contest pictures, look. Oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Shit. Firefighter saving someone. Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer, <laughs> said Max, the art critic. So that's Daniel's photo. Victoria. That is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? Looks like a doctor, maybe. Being upset about maybe losing a patient, perhaps? I'm just going off the lab coat. Okay. Let's see. I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work. But he does have some style. His stuff is pretty macabre, so... And he has it separated over here for some reason. M Mr. Jefferson does it. That is, like... Cigarette pack. Victoria's cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. Trying to look more mature, maybe? Rachel Amber forever. Fuck yeah, Rachie. Duct tape, there we go. It's probably actually gaffer's tape, which is awesome tape, by the way. Way better than duct tape. Oh, there's more duct tape over here. 
Does it matter which one we take? The tape is mine. I guess not, huh? That's weird. I didn't know now that they- Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. That's strange that they would give you two different tapes to choose from. Huh. Never noticed that. Okay. Well, we gotta get out, see her. Get back to our Clo-Bear. Let's see. Kate's locker. So glad you still have your locker, Kate. Me too. I feel like you're guiding us along. But where? You'll figure it out. Um, I think this was Chloe's locker? I can't remember exactly in the hall where her locker was. It was one of those end banks, though. Oh, it might have been. Well, no. No, I think that was it back there. Anyway. Uh, here we go. Okay. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this Just, instead. Just, you know, a pipe Ooh. bomb. Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! If you'll light the candle. This is so cool! Get ready to haul ass. There we go. That was so fucking cool. Oh, we are toast. Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? I know what we're gonna do. We're gonna run in. And then we're gonna rewind. And unlock it. <laughs> can get this bastard open. She can't cheat with her rewind. <laughs> oh, this is bullshit. Fuck you, door. Welcome to my domain. You are magic. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money, but no taste. It's been a while since you've been here, huh, Chloe? How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? <laughs> I'm glad I was expelled. <laughs> yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly-ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. There you go. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. Okay. We have a photo that we can take here. You're not so tacky up close. Yes, it is. Photo. Chloe, say hello to my little friend. Say goodnight to the bad guy. There we go. We can look. That is so cool that my signature actually counted. Go, Miss Grant. If we didn't sign, this would have failed, by the way. Uh, Dear Miss Grant, as Principal of Blackwell Academy, it is my glad, happy, fortunate duty to inform you that your petition to block the installation of a new surveillance system has received enough signatures for the school to reject the plan. It is not my policy to take sides in these matters, as we encourage the faculty and student body to participate in their school's operation. However, I did recognize the controversial nature of these cameras and shared your concern for possible invasions of privacy. Thank you for your passion and for inspiring Blackwell students to make their voices heard. I hope they will feel empowered by the outcome of your petition. Best, Principal Wells. And we got a text from Warren. Did you blow the lock, Unabomber? Oh, please, I just wanted to see if you knew your explosives and to see your incredible artwork. Yeah, we have four more, five more to go. Uh, okay, let's see. So cool to stalk the halls when it's dark and quiet. Even with so many terrible things happening all around us, it felt like Chloe and I were walking towards the center of a great cosmic mystery, something bigger than any of us. 
But we kind of suck as master spies since we didn't have a key for the principal's office. No worries with my rewind power at hand. And of course, Dr. Warren Graham. He came through with a bitchin' mini bomb made of sodium what the fuck ever. <laughs> I probably learned more putting those ingredients together than the entire semester so far. Sorry, Miss Grant. Warren is the star student here. He tries so hard to help. Maybe too much. But what's wrong with that these days? I'm so grateful he's on my team. Do otters get songs stuck in their heads? Is what that sticker says at the bottom. Okay. Rachel sat there. Chloe sat here. Ah, twas like it was just yesterday. Okay. Wowzer, this will so not come in handy. Bitch, would you chill? I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. <laughs> Whiskey bottle. Um, yeah, search the files. And nothing here. Okay. Here, let me come back this way. Lamp. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. Student information sheet. Kate Beverly Marsh. GPA 3.9. Kate Marsh represents the very best of the students at Blackwell Academy. Her GPA is consistently astounding, along with her optimistic attitude and quiet work ethic. Her extracurricular activities with the Meals on Wheels program has been acknowledged on KBay 7 News, and her diverse religious studies group has been a welcome addition to the wide range of student-led spiritual programs at Blackwell. She also has one of the best attendance records in the school's history. Principal Wells, as the school nurse, I should inform you that Kate Marsh appears to have experienced some recent emotional or physical trauma. I spoke to her briefly, and she was upset but vague and refused to talk further with me. I think it's important that we keep our eyes on her and make sure she's not under duress from other classmates, as is my suspicion. Regards, Anne-Marie Berenci. Update. At present time, there is a security investigation into a controversial video allegedly featuring Kate Marsh at a Vortex Club party that has been uploaded onto the internet without her knowledge or alleged consent, along with her claim of being taken to the hospital during the party. See the attached files for complete details. Only two more files to go. Okay. Books. I certainly can't use this. Anything over here? files look at this pile tumbleweeds okay. student files search rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this but there's not much here about the police investigation <sighs> here's our girl student information sheet rachel don amber update Unfortunately, Rachel Amber has stopped attending class for the past month, and she's left no contact with students or faculty for the past month. Her parents are at the present unaware of her whereabouts, and Blackwell hopes for her quick return to continue her academic excellence. Brief summary, Rachel Amber is the quintessential student representation of Blackwell Academy. She excels in all her studies and extracurricular activities, which are numerous. Popular with both students and faculty, she has the de facto qualities of scholarship and leadership that is a hallmark of Blackwell's legacy. Her diverse goals include a career in international law and fashion modeling. There is no doubt that Rachel will achieve all of her dreams with Blackwell as its fulcrum. Principal Wells, this is Lieutenant Chris Rossi. Just wanted you to know that Rachel Amber's investigation has officially been closed on our end. We always hope for that one magic clue, but once again, Arcadia Bay covers up another secret. We always keep our eyes and ears open, but that's all we can do from now. Thanks for all your help. Lieutenant Chris Rossi, Arcadia Bay Police Department. Yep, July 22nd, 1994, from Long Beach, California. Okay, Rachel Dawn, yep. There she is, there's our girl. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. Student information sheet, Chloe Elizabeth Price. Oh, Rachel also had a 4.0 GPA. Chloe has a 1.7. Brief summary. Chloe Price is a problematic student at Blackwell, despite the best efforts of the faculty and administration to guide her academically. Chloe does little homework and is often willfully belligerent to her teachers. She has caused numerous class disruptions with inappropriate comments and rude gestures to fellow students. She was recently suspended for spray painting graffiti in the parking lot. Even though Chloe is an intelligent student with potential, she chooses to squander it on an empty rebellion against a non-mandatory institution. Update. Chloe Price is no longer a student at Blackwell. See attached police reports. Okay, so this is another continuity break from before the storm. 
which is another reason. And honestly, in my heart of hearts, I believe Deck Nine was trying to set up a divergent timeline and Square Enix just like came down on them from what we have heard from leakers. Um, Because for this, she was suspended for spray painting graffiti in the parking lot. We know that her kind of weapon of choice is a marker, but um, also it sounds like she was expelled potentially for that. Um, See attached police reports. So she was expelled maybe for a run-in with the law, but she was expelled for um, a ton of absences and for ditching class and before the storm and for taking the blame for Rachel. Um, So that's why I think... um, And this is such an obvious thing that that's why I thought it was canon divergent, where it was, um, you know, they were setting up the divergent timeline. But, yeah. But then Square Enix happened, so we're stuck with this. So she was expelled in 2011. And for spray painting or running with the law or what have you. But she has her blonde hair up there. Our girls next to each other, at least in files. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Always wanted to say nab. Oh, you dork. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Student information sheet, Nathan Joshua Prescott. Uh, He has a 3.7 GPA. Uh, Nathan Prescott continues his family historical legacy at Blackwell Academy with a stellar academic record and a variety of extracurricular activities, including work with the Arcadia Bay Homeless Fund. Nathan is also popular with students and faculty. He stands as a proud representation of Blackwell. Like I'm not going to read my own personal file. And here we have Maxine Caulfield. Her GPA is 2.8. Like I said, her, her grades are not the best. Um, brief summary. Max, as she prefers to be called, is considered a quiet, attentive student with much potential for her photography. Her GPA fluctuates and she has acknowledged she should be doing better. Her teachers back up her quiet intelligence, though some complaints find her too nervous and nosy. Some faculty members would like Max to speak up more in class and be more assertive. Others would like her to be less so, but this is a common student suggestion rather than a specific recommendation. Let's see. To speak up more in class and be more assertive, and others would like her to be less assertive and less, you know, prone to speaking up. Interesting. Update. Despite some recent confrontations with Blackwell security, Max showed herself to represent the very best of Blackwell Academy by stopping fellow fellow student Kate Marsh from jumping off the dormitory roof today. At this time, there is an ongoing police and faculty investigation, but Max's heroism is undisputed. You can also see she has a transfer form down there. And 30-day transfer form complete initial IEP. So that's an individualized education plan. That's what I meant. Like she has a um, potentially a processing issue. An individualized education plan um, is usually for special needs students. Um, So that's why there's some hint that Maxine or Max rather uh, has maybe some issues like a, a learning disorder. And that could be the reason why Chloe is doing sort of the normal stationary task of looking through the computer files while she's letting Max walk around and be physical and look for physical evidence because maybe she knows that she's better with that type of information. So there's some theories around that that people have posted, but that's the one that I'm like, oh yeah, no, that makes sense. This file is going to be so spotless, a projectile vomit. Uh, Victoria Maribeth Chase. Her GPA is 3.9. Victoria Chase is the gold standard for Blackwell Academy, a student with a consistently high GPA and extracurricular activities that reflect her career goals in photography. Victoria also receives high marks from faculty for her devotion for the Vortex Club, among other organizations devoted to Blackwell spirit and history. Rachel has a 4.0. Sorry, Vicky. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. Uh Uh-huh. Uh, Warren Graham, GPA 4.0. Brief summary. Warren is considered an exemplary student or represents a long tradition of excellence in science at Blackwell. He has the gift or curse of gab, depending on the faculty. He talks too much. Some have accused him of playing science pranks, but this is not confirmed by his science teacher, Miss Grant. She's probably taking the fall for him. We hope Warren focuses his academic vision and continues towards his bright future. I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. I guess being a bully is in the Prescott DNA. 
Principal Wells, it's come to my attention the Prescott family crest has been removed from the library wall for no apparent reason. This local historical crest is required as per the donation terms to the library, or the donation will be rescinded, among others, for the school. Along with that, I understand that the tragic event involving Miss involving Marsh gives you pause, but I would suggest that canceling Thursday's party is not conducive to the can-do spirit of Blackwell Academy. I expect you to reconsider and come to the same obvious conclusion. Thank you, Sean Prescott, which is Nathan's dad. We saw he was a tool in before the storm. Okay, looks like we can speak to Chloe now. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott the third. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. Hmm. But I was expelled? The Prescotts always get their money's worth. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's... Fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. <laughs> it's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This will chill him out after you almost, you know, shot him. Are you going to make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. All right, so our first big decision of the episode. Um, we are going to... We're going to steal the money. Um, because we do want to keep Frank pretty calm. We are going to have a throwdown with him at some point. Um, not only that, but... In the grand scheme of things, this is not that bad. Honestly, you might be thinking, stealing five grand, that's not bad. It's really, this is chump change for this game. Uh, so we're going to steal the money. Frank knows things about Rachel, and he might talk if he's been paid, right? You are a supermax. And, and with plus the leftover dough, happy. I'll take you on a road trip to Portland for the day. We'll stock up on tats, beer, weed, and donuts, and books from Powell's, and strip clubs. Kidding. But you never know. <laughs> Chloe's head's in the right space. I feel like shit for taking that money. Cry about it. We're going to look at the computer. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Prescott, we regret to inform you that Nathan Prescott has disrupted various classes over the past month despite repeated warnings and leniency. Due to a crude outburst in Miss Hoyda's intro to literature class on Tuesday, September 17th, Nathan was sent back to his dormitory for the day without a proper write-up for his files. Nathan has enormous potential, but also erratic behavior patterns that may need supervision beyond Blackwell's ability. The, st the school cannot tolerate these disruptions, so we hope you will discuss this matter with Nathan to impress upon him the severity of this situation. So we know that Miss Hoyt has been out for depressive episodes, and it sounds like due to a crude outburst in Miss Hoyt's intro to literature class... That could have been it right there. Please see the attached files for the full reports. Update. Expunged records. 
Dear Principal Wells, we received a rather outrageous and possibly slanderous letter from somebody in administration accusing Nathan of uncharacteristic erratic behavior patterns. We're certain this must be a mistake. Otherwise, we fear we will take Nathan out of Blackwell to a more prestigious and better funded institution. Please respond with a copy of the expense disciplinary warning report. So we'll pull your funding unless you expunge our kid's record. Blackwell Incident Report, Nathan Prescott. The following is a list of reported incidents involving Nathan Prescott. There seems to be a pattern of outbursts and confrontations followed by remorse and repentance. We suggest his parents remove him from the school and place him under expert psychological supervision. Throwing a desk in class. Cursing at his English teacher. Lighting firecrackers in the bathroom. Stealing school supplies. Threatening the school custodian. Attempted theft of campus to bang a statue. And here on the right, we have Nathan Prescott's scan. Rachel in the dark room, Rachel in the dark room, Rachel in the dark room. David Madsen and Nathan Prescott have both come to my office to warn me that Rachel Amber has been a drug mule in Mr. Madsen's talk, radio terminology, acting as a front for another local dealer. Considering Rachel's exemplary status, I told David that I would need more concrete proof and he promised he had more to show. I was surprised to get an unscheduled visit from Rachel Amber. She seemed quite upset and claimed that David Madsen was following her and taking photographs. David would deny this and given the questionable company Rachel has been keeping, I'm not certain I can believe her right now. So we're getting in sort of, you know, the messy bits of this where not everything is as it seems. And as the graffiti in this game has been telling us, trust no one. So. That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. We deserve a little mindless fun in the water. We're done for the night anyway, we're rich, and nobody busted us. So? Splish Splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish Splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. You picked it up from Rachel first. And you use it wrong a good 50% of the time. But... We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. <laughs> we still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. Now let me look around first. I would love a soda, but I'd just get wired. Go otters. Okay, so this is the women's locker room. Men's locker room. Here we go. I hope the otters will survive. The earth can't wait. Inform yourself, then share. Become an eco-volunteer today. I actually don't have the time to investigate this caper. Lost goggles. I admit I'm a goofball and misplaced my Flexawave swim goggles. If found, eternal gratitude and a $25 Bean Hip Cafe gift card. Contact Ray Siren. I hope the otters will survive. Uh, there we go. If only I could solve the mystery of the missing cat picks. Okay, so this is a continuation of what we saw in episode one with uh, the person who stole, got their tablet stolen. Reward, desperate for my stolen backpack with school books and new tablet. I need this for class. My tablet has private pics of my late cat's rip, so I will pay a cash reward, no questions asked. If you have any details or would like to return the backpack, you have my contact info. Now, please. All right. Boys or girls? <laughs> this is a very loaded question, and we're going to go with the girls' locker room, Chloe. You nasty. Girls, of course. Girls. Ooh la la. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. If you choose boys, she's like, ew, pervert. <laughs> so... We know how Chloe feels about girls after Before the Storm. 
Brooks Locker sock. Where does that other sock go? Good question. It usually gets stuck uh, in the little belt of the, uh, what do you call it, the dryer, but or the washer, if you wanted Looks to know. Looks like Brooke wants to go to the drive-in with Warren. Mm-hmm. The American Drive-In Theater. That's why I'm being nice to Brooke and not pursuing anything with Warren, because one, it's Warren, and two, um, Brooke wants to go with him. Those are some musty-ass old shirts. Yuck. If I could rewind back to the 1940s, I'd get in serious trouble. Girls can swim, too. Swim classes for young ladies. Blackwell Academy Pool, May 2nd through 10th. Pool rules. <laughs> Victoria Chase of rules. This isn't a desperate cry for attention or anything. She probably wrote that her damn self. Um... Sorry, Rachel. Oh, because you're macking on Chloe? Mm-hmm. Ooh, pink goo. I see why everybody brings their own soap. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> you wish, Max. You just look like a snoop. Okay. Yeah, that's the way to the pool over there, so we want to look around a little bit more. Dear Kate, I don't care. God. Well, we care, dickhead. Rachel abides. I hope so, friend. That's the, like, the dude abides from the Big Lebowski. Okay, let's look around a little bit more. Those look like the most cozy, comfy towels in towel history. Want. Is that just the sock back here? Yeah. Otters eat beavers. The wit, it burns. Uh, Victoria's locker. So, Victoria's secret is selfies. I just love Go how many- fuck your- No. Jefferson said, don't confuse art with the artist. These are cool shots. Uh-huh, but uh, I just love that she keeps saying Victoria's Secret. I find that really, really funny. But here we can see she has a selfie addiction, just like Max. Anything in here? No. Those are the towels. Flippers in a swimming pool? Are they training Navy frogmen here? Maybe they are, you don't know. A bus ticket? Was she going to run away? Like Rachel Amber? Arcadia Bay bus lines, one Portland trip ticket on October 2nd, so six days ago. And whose locker was that? Kate's locker. Okay. I think we've seen everything that we can see in here. And anything. There's Chloe, there's the pool. Lifeguard. Oxygen. In case I run out of air, I know where to come. What else we got? Okay, so that's the other side. Aw, look at the baby Halloween pumpkin. Coffee and swimming. Good combo. Yes, we get it. Otters. Again, I don't see Rachel, therefore I do not give a fuck. <laughs> Though she probably wouldn't have her feather in if she was in a bathing suit. Hmm. Don't even think I'm gonna make a move on you. Rescue dummy. Now I have the power over light and death. Right, uh, Chloe's gonna ask us to turn the lights on soon. So, the big plan is... win. Otter goal, fall 2013. Win, win, win. Okay. I actually want to take a sweep around the uh, pool area, make sure we're not missing anything here. Because mm. I 
feel like there's maybe going to be graffiti around here. If nothing else. I could be completely wrong though, so I apologize if this is a waste of time. And I know we're not supposed to be running, but whatever. Oh, no, okay. Don't touch, yeah, the Blackwell or uh, the Vortex Club party. Balloons and shit. Guest list, this is what I was looking for. Looks like I'm the Vortex Club bouncer. Decisions, decisions. We're gonna remove names so that we can get into the VIP section later. Oh, I'm sorry. Your names are not on the list. You'll have to eat shit now. There we go. Let's see. Is there anything else I want to be looking at? Okay, I think we're good. Anything, Bueller? Bueller? Oh. Just when I thought it was safe to go back in the water. A shark toy. Okay. Chloe just couldn't wait to splish splash in the pool. Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Otters don't like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light. <laughs> okay, cool. So we know that Chloe's a biter now, I guess. Um... Where was it? It was... Oh, what is this? I don't think anybody has ever drowned here. I hope. Stretcher board. There has to be a control panel for the lights around here. There we go. That was a quick transition. Chloe is ready! There she goes. Time to do or dive, Max. What do I have to... There we go. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Feels like a hot tub. And with my cash dash, I'm queen of the world. Bow. Tell me you're not going to stand there watching me like a zombie. Don't you dare! Come stop me, hippie! Okay, you asked for it. Cowabunga! Why look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. She would. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out for Kate's sake. She almost died today. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like this force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. What if I had, thanks to you? Uh, thanks to you? Not that time. But that's because you were there to kickstart my power. So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected since without me, you would have never discovered your power, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? 
No. Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? <laughs> and I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. You're the bro killer. Warren is nice. Gross. Gross. Ew. I don't want any Blackwell bros over me. There's a couple cute guys there, but they probably think I'm a total nerd. Uh, nerds are hot. You just don't have any confidence yet. Unfortunately, that didn't come with my rewind power. No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other, Otter versus Shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's check. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. Gross. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Call this cute. Thanks. You would know. Oh, because it's soaked in hair dye. Hide! Hide. Okay. We've got to find a way out. We have to go now. Are you shitting me? There's David. Dude, hide! Like when we were kids. I could use my power. Or just look for a hiding spot. Or both. Where are they? Hello? I actually don't remember how to get through this part. Anybody there? Don't come in here. Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. Who's here? I got I got a flashlight and a stick. Okay, now. Go. All right. We are so invisible. Let's bail. Nailed it. Bullshit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? Uh, okay. Into the car. Get in. <laughs> Later, fuckers. Max, you rock. We are so fucking awesome. <laughs> yes, Subtle, we Chloe. So are. Because that wasn't obvious at all. <laughs> mm. 
Okay, as soon as this next scene loads. I'm gonna cut it, because we're at an hour and 45. But here's your price field content. We got the, the swimming pool scene. We're all snuggled up in the bed now. <laughs> But first, let me take a selfie. Always remember this moment. Photo bomb. Photo hog. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. Wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. All right, so we have a little chill session here. Um, but that's going to wrap it up for the first part of Chaos Theory. In the next video, we'll be looking at the second half where shit starts to get extremely real. I'm so wiped out from last night. But it was awesome. I have to ponder what kind of criminal I've become. Last night was only the tip of the iceberg. I have to admit... It was pretty cool to take over the Blackwell gym. Today the gym, tomorrow the world. We need to step it up. We still have to be careful how I use my power. I don't want to get stuck in time. All right, well, I'll let these two chill here and I'll catch you guys next time. Later, y'all.